Hey there! I hope that you are ending 2022 ready to say goodbye to a crazy year that has hopefully taught you some lessons, strengthened your foundation, strengthened your faith, and I hope that you are getting ready to enter 2023 feeling that much stronger. I am ending this year ready to embark on a super crazy, wildly adventurous adventure. And I'm still working out some pieces of the puzzle to put that together so that I can share it with you. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you can continue to see what I've got cooking in the background and I'm hoping it all works out. But I survived the holidays. We survived birthdays. We survived what I call our busy season every year starting in October. It's, you know, birthday, birthday, holiday, birthday, birthday, holiday, birthday, holiday, holiday. And here we are at the very end. It's almost New Year's Eve. It's almost New Year's Day. And I am about to say goodbye to 2022. I survived it. It's been extremely hard, but I continued to push through and persevere and do everything that I possibly could to make myself better, which in turn helps me be better for my family, be better for work, be better in the world, be better for myself. Now, in surviving the holidays, Christmas was going to be the most stressful one of all. It's the, how do I afford all the things the kids are expecting? How do I try to get the kids to realize that we're going to scale back a little bit because I can't afford this inflation problem that's going on? And I got to the other side of Christmas and was so relieved and so happy. And today is Friday, December 30th. Two days ago, on Wednesday, December 28th, someone tried to rob us. It was 2.50 p.m., a gorgeous day, bright, sunshiny, two in the afternoon. Kids are home, kids are playing, I'm working, and a stranger thought they could drive their car into my front yard and start shopping outside my house and started loading their car with my tools and stuff um, for the yard, like the weed eater. They thought they'd just take it. They thought that it would be just fine for them to steal from me. I have worked so hard and I struggle with feeling like I have worked so hard for nothing. And I am trying to share my journey of being a better person for myself and seeing that no matter how hard I work, God is going to provide for me and I am going to be okay. And yet, three days after Christmas, someone thought that they could just come and take the things that I have worked hard for. I don't have much and they thought they would just take what they wanted. Thanks to our dog, we were alerted to a problem outside of our house and we were able to stop them in the act. We were able to get their license plate number and a description of their car and get it to the police. And the police have knowledge of who he is and what he did. I could not tell you what has happened since then because we haven't been contacted for anything. Um, but it, it doesn't matter. What matters is 
on the other side of this ugly thing that just happened to us, I feel stronger. Like I do. I To be in a situation that was so chaotic and so strange, like it was almost like an out-of-body exper experience where... Like I, I'm, I'm talking to a police officer about what happened and there's nothing but strength and unity between myself and my honey and what happened and talking about it and, and feeling like we're fine. Like we're, it, it, it's a horrible thing. It's, it, it was, I don't know. It, it, it's just, it is what it is. It just is. Um, but this plan that I have, like I am even stronger in knowing that this is the right path. This would be amazing. This would work out. This would get us to safety for our family unit to be stronger moving forward and getting us away from this environment. So that's where I'm ending 2022. I just clocked out of work, logged off, shut it down. Celebrated, and I wanted to, I wanted to share with you what happened. Um, I want to share with you this journey, and it can be ugly sometimes, and even like it was something completely out of my control. I had nothing to do with it. I didn't plan that day to have that happen, so um, I didn't think. I wasn't sure if you would care. Or, if, you know, I, I decided I wanted to end 2022 telling you what happened to us. I wanted to end 2022 sharing my life with you so that maybe you'll invest in me. Please, I'm a great investment. I'm a hard worker. I do so much. If you could subscribe to my channel, I would be so appreciative because I am going to do so much more and you're going to be able to watch it from the beginning. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being here. My name's Danielle. I am the Zodiac Tiller. This is the end of 2022 and I am so ready for 2023. Thank you. God bless.